I'm Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of this newsletter is going to be, I'm working on getting a life. Got an email here from a viewer, and he says, Hey, Corey, if I did not find you, I would have been, I would have always been the way I've always been, needy and weak. Your advice has done wonders in making me the guy women want, which is what I want to be. I will be forever grateful, and I know my lady will too. He says, my situation. He says, I'm, I'm white and I've been dating a Chinese woman for about four months now. Her interest does not appear to be over 60%, so let's say it's 51%, but I'm not sure if other cultures have different standards. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter what continent women are. I just did a video from a dude who's in Egypt, which is an ultra-conservative society, and when he acted weak and needy, guess what? The women wanted nothing to do with him. So at the end of the day, what I'm teaching right now will apply 100 years from now. The ways that you communicate with women might be different. The, the type of devices may be different. But at the end of the day, the courtship process between a man and a woman simply boils down to three things that a guy needs to focus on, which is A, hang out, B, have fun when you're hanging out, and C, hook up when you're hanging out, meaning go for the kiss, make a move, seduce her, when you're on a date, I mean, a guy's role in it, a guy's job in the interaction between a man and a woman is simply to gently lead and create a fun filled romantic opportunity for sex to happen. That's what a date is. That, in a nutshell, is the only thing a dude needs to focus on. And he just does that over and over and over again. And by successfully doing that over and over again over the course of several months, if you do everything right or more things right than wrong, it usually takes about two months or so for a woman to fall completely head over heels in love with you. And when that happens, or as she, as her interest goes up and she starts to fall for you more and more, she's simply going to want to spend more and more time with you. And when the girl's calling and texting you a couple of times a day, it's pretty easy to set the next fun-filled romantic opportunity for sex to happen. And then at some point in time, when you guys are together all the time, she's going to ask you about other girls that you're dating or if you're dating other girls. And the conversation will come up because she'll bring it up, not that you don't ever bring it up, let her bring it up. When she brings it up about being exclusive or dating or relationships, then it means she's emotionally ready for that. And then you just simply, if you're ready and you want to commit to it, then you agree to be in a relationship with her. And if you're not ready, then you just tell her you're not ready. And you just, again, the only thing you focus on, even when you're a couple, is create a fulfilled romantic opportunity for sex to happen. You just do that over and over and over and over again. That's it. That's... I, Boiling it down in a nutshell, that's all a guy really needs to do in an interaction to keep the romance and the sexual attraction alive. If you don't like, especially even if you're married for 20 years, if you don't date your wife, guess what? Some other dude eventually will come along and date her for you and take her right off your hands. <clears throat> he says, exclusivity. He says, early on, after about two months, she said that she didn't want to waste my time and she didn't want to waste hers but that she did not want me seeing anyone else. I said, okay, which was probably not the best response. He says, I should have done what you suggested and been playful about it. There's nothing wrong with the response. It's like if you wanted to get serious with her, then there's nothing wrong with the way that you handled it. It's just you did the right thing by letting her bring it up because the only reason she brought it up is because it, she brought it up when she was feeling it. And what most guys do is they think they need to bring it up and what you really need to do is just focus on creating one fun-filled romantic opportunity for sex to happen after another. And, and when her emotions get engaged enough, like you, this particular girl's emotions got to, they want you all to themselves and they're going to bring it up. And you can either agree to go along with it or you can choose to keep things on a casual basis. It's totally up to you. He says, we only see each other maybe once or twice a week max. Sometimes in the weekend we hang out all weekend, but I don't think she really likes that at least not all the time. I think it bores her. That One thing that you got to do is you don't want to do the same thing. You don't want to go to the same fucking restaurant every weekend on every date. You don't want to do the same things over and over. The idea is to be mysterious. You, you want her to be thinking, I don't know what he's going to do next. I don't know where he's going to take me next. It doesn't mean you got to do expensive, extravagant dates. It just it means that you got to be a little original. You got to do different things. You don't do, if you go to dinner all the time, go take her out for a drink. Or go fucking skydiving one time. Or or take her out of town and go to a bed and breakfast somewhere. Just do something different. 
and when she wants to know what you're doing, it's like, oh, we're going to do something fun Friday night. I was like, what is it? Well, if I told you, then it would be a, a surprise. Now, would it, silly? And then she'll be driving her bananas all week. She'll be conspiring with her girlfriends, and they'll all be trying to figure out what you're going to do and where you're going to take her. And guess what this does to her level of attraction and interest for you? Yeah, it sends it in the right direction, which is up, which is what you want. He said, did we get exclusive too soon, or is she just busy? It's just indicative of how she feels about you presently. Because remember, the only thing that matters is, is the only thing women look at is how you're showing up right now. It doesn't mean if you were the perfect boyfriend the first two years or 20 years you were together. The only If you're fucking up now, the only thing that matters is that you're fucking up right now. And she wants you to fix it. He says, this could just be me, me being needy and clingy. He says, I'm divorcing now. And it's my second one. And later in another conversation, she'll ask me if I still believed in marriage because, again, if I didn't, she did not want to waste her time or mine. That's good because you're in the middle of a divorce and she wants to make sure that, hey, this is the second time you're getting divorced. I just want to make sure because obviously she wants to get married. That's why she's breaking up that you're open to getting married a third time. So that's a good sign. It means she's thinking of these things and she's the one bringing them up. That's what you want. That's what I teach in my book. So good job for getting her to that point. He says, I told her I did believe in marriage still. He says, for the first couple to about three months, he says, we did not have sex, but we recently started to. And he says, a lot, and I'm really enjoying her. Well, yeah, absolutely. Obviously, if it was several months before you started having sex, there's probably a little sexual frustration. And so you're probably making up for lost time. So, you know, knock the bottom out of that thing, dude. Jar something loose, brother. Fucking have fun. Pound the princess and not, not just have a good time. He says, I could use or would enjoy spending more time with her. And I even wanted to live with her. Admittedly, right now, I'm not very busy when I enjoy filling my time with a wonderful lady like her. She, on the other hand, is very busy and does enjoy her friends a lot doing things with them. He says, I'm working on getting a life and this will help fill the void and allow her more room to breathe and keep me from thinking about her every waking moment. Exactly. A lot of people make the mistake when they get into a relationship, men and women both do it, where they like basically blow off all their friends and family and only spend time with one another. And they give up their hobbies, their interests. I've had friends of mine that have given up their careers and their purpose in life to go live with a girl or move across country to be with her. And they wonder why they get dumped or ditched or, the, or their wives cheat on them 10 years later, and it's because you ain't got a fucking purpose in life. Women love guys who have ambition. Think about it. What is masculine energy? Masculine energy is all about purpose, drive, mission, succeeding, accomplishing, breaking through barriers, achieving goals in life. Feminine energy is about opening up to receive love. And if you're in a relationship with a feminine woman who wants to receive your love, and you don't have any ambition, you're not really going anywhere in life, and you're not really doing anything that makes you feel fulfilled and alive and you have no interest outside of your relationship with her, your relationship is going to become very predictable and very boring. And in that respect, women are kind of like cats. And what happens when a cat gets bored? It's like, I'm fucking out of here, dude. And it goes off and it roams the neighborhood for a couple of days. And when it starts to miss you or its home base, it comes back home to eat. And when he gets bored again, guess what? He fucking takes off and he goes roaming around the neighborhood. He says, my question for you has to do with who should pay for dinner, drinks, etc. And what that tells a woman about the guy and being in his masculine core. Well, I, I've usually the guy pays. If you're the one inviting her out to do something, you should be the one paying. If you invite her to meet you out for a drink, you should be paying for the drinks. If she invites you out to do something, then she should pay. And you should pay attention to that. If you're dating a woman and you got a good girl and she's a giver, every once in a while she's going to offer to pay. She's going to offer to take you out to dinner. And she's going to offer to – in other words, she's going to be the one that's going to figure out the date and let her do that every once in a while. And if, you, if you're dating a girl and she never offers to pay for anything, she always expects you to pay, you might be with a chick that's not a giver. She's a little selfish. And it's a really nice thing to be dating a girl or to have my girlfriend – pick up the tab every now and then or offer to pick up the tab or to take me someplace say hey honey I love you so much and just to so, show my appreciation to you for all the things that you do for me I'm gonna take you out to dinner for a change and she'll go ahead and do that 
He says, I've thought of this as me showing that I can support her and I have no problem doing that. He says, Chinese are very traditional when it comes to roles, although she may, may be more open than most. My other question is how advice on who pays might change with dating women who are not born in the U.S. It doesn't matter. If a chick's, if, if you got a good girl, she's going to want to, and she's a giver, she's going to want to take you out every now and then and show you appreci her appreciation. I mean, at the end of the day, the purpose of all relationships is you go there to give. And it's going to get to suck after a while and you'll start to resent it if, if your girl never even offers to even buy you a drink or she never buys you a little teddy bear with a card just to tell you how much she loves you or something like that, a little little teddy bear that she wants to keep at your house and she'll spray it with all of her perfume or something like that. I mean, girls do shit like that. you got to pay attention to those things. And if a girl was doing those things and then she stopped doing those things, guess what? That's indicative of the fact that her interest in you has dropped and you need to pay attention. He says, currently I'm dating a woman from China and frankly, things over there appear to be very different for a multitude of reasons. So it's good. It's good what you're doing. You got to, as a man, you have to always focus on your purpose and your mission in life. If you want to maintain attraction with a woman long term, that always needs to be your purpose and your focus in life. Because just like you're running into, you're, you're pretty much sitting around twiddling your thumbs and the only thing you got to do is to worry about and wonder about what your girlfriend is doing. And that's boring. That's predictable. That can cause your relationship to get stagnant and her to get tired of you and want to spend less time with you. So the more you get focused on your, your career, your business that you want to create on the side or your business in general, the more and the, ha and the more successful you become at it, the happier you're going to be as a man. And the happier you are, the more successful you are, the more attractive you you're going to be to your girl. So if you have a question that you want to ask me, go to my website and on the Wibia toolbar, I'm sorry, go to my website and on the left hand side, click the contact me tab and send me one to two paragraphs max and just give me several days to get back to you with a response. If you want to talk to me right away, the quickest way to get my help is to book a paid phone coaching session. You can do that by going to my website, click the products tab, which will be at the top of your screen and just follow the instructions. If you want to get a digital version of my Kindle ebook on my website underneath the email sign up box, is a box that has a link that will take you right to the Amazon Kindle download page. Once you get there, if you don't have a Kindle device, just download one of their free e-reader apps. And if you appreciate the value of the information I offer in this video newsletter, the articles on my website and my ebook, you can show your appreciation right now by going to my website and on the Wibia toolbar at the bottom of your screen, click the PayPal donate button and donate any amount that you feel is equal to the value of the information. And I will talk to you soon.